Okay, guys, let's get to the next one. Okay, so I'm 22 and still a virgin. Um, because when I was 19, I found out that I had HSV1. For those who don't know what that is, that's um, a strain of herpes. It's the first one and it usually results in cold sores. So HSV2 is um, genital herpes. So in this scenario, she has HSV1. Basically, I get cold sores. I'm in a place where I want to get into a relationship and hook up and all that, but I'm not sure how to navigate it. I have two friends who also have it, but are in committed relationships who have said it doesn't matter in the long run since a lot of people have it, but I would feel guilty if any of my sexual partners get it from me. I just don't know how to start navigating dating relationships and hookups because I've I've had shit because I've shit down after, oh, I've shut down, sorry. I've shut down after I was diagnosed and now I feel like I don't want to start dating. Um, yeah, that's basically what she said. Yeah. I've got a question, sorry. Yeah, so go the cold sores, is it around the mouth? Yeah, but it's like, you know, you know cold sores in general oh, are around the genitalia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. She's oh, yeah. Her oh her mouth. mouth. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Right, right, right. I'm going right. to tell you what you need to do. Go get the big O because I actually answered this in my book. When I saw this, I was just like, child, it's in my book. I literally have a script in the book that teaches you how to express that you have any sort of um, STIs, whether that's an STI that's um, permanent or an STI that can be fixed with an injection and uh, a week of antibiotics. Like there's a script in there. And the main thing in that script is that it teaches you that there's nothing wrong with you and that there's mm. so many people who are walking this earth who mm. have HSV1 and HSV2. So many people have um, herpes. It just hasn't shown itself. Mm. Like herpes is a lot more common that, than people think. There's someone in here, in this room, who probably has herpes right now. I know it's going to sound crazy because everyone's going to be like, I haven't got herpes, I haven't got herpes. And I might be wrong. <laughs> I might re- be wrong. But my point is that it is that common, okay? Yeah. It is that common. So you have nothing to apologize for. You should not feel down or, you know, in the dumps about your sex life at mm-hmm. all. Go get the book. It literally will make you understand. It also has... um a lot of submissions from other people who have also got herpes, HSV1 and HSV2. And it tells you about um, the positives of how it went when they told their sexual or the person they were in a relationship with that they had herpes. So please do not feel bummed out. It is not the end of the world, Mm. okay? It is very common. The only thing that isn't common is the fact that people aren't speaking up openly about it. And as you said, your friends are in relationships so it just shows you that it really isn't that big of a deal. When you do have um, a moment where it does show itself, so if you're if you're herpes or if you're cold sores, if you have an outbreak, there are medications, there are creams that you can take, and then Bob's your uncle if he's actually your uncle. But you know, you'll be okay. Quiet. So <laughs> sorry, it's um, let me just understand. It's it's not the fact that her sex life has been written off. It's just she feels she's a conscious. She hasn't had it she's yet. a virgin. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and she feels conscious about it. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So she, she feels that, worried about. Yeah. Being Do you know what I think? Because you tell your average twenty-two-year-old guy, I've got herpes, it's no, and yeah. she yeah. thinks yeah. no, 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 no. She thinks that they will write her off. But mm. yeah, you could. Uh, sorry to God forgive me, but you could have warts that are showing. Right. A guy will still sleep with you. There's yeah. a guy out there because God forgive me, but men. Mm. They don't like when it comes to sexual health. A lot they don't of know them, nothing. Do you know what I was gonna yeah, say? I so... was gonna say like sh- I think she should just baby step herself a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like, that's what I was gonna say. Baby yeah. step herself in terms of like talking to guys because she says she's not really doing any of that. Yeah. So like start talking to them first and just build that that confidence in conversation mm. to have it and maybe take your time in actually saying it as well because mm. I understand it's an important thing to talk about yeah. and mm. to let someone that you intend on being intimate with know. Yeah. But then I think you just need to work <coughs> out that confidence in at least having like those conversational relationships with guys because it's not happening right now. Does yeah. she have yeah. to let them know or she can just use a condom? No, it's, it's not going to protect her. her. Yeah, it's around yeah. her mouth. Yeah. Or she and can't herpes, just herpes not kiss them. Herpes don't, doesn't protect you. Like, um, I mean, condoms from, yeah, don't protect, protect you from herpes. From herpes. Oh, okay, because so kissing and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, you can still get herpes regardless if you wear, like, condoms. Like, mm. condoms protect you from major- a majority of STIs, but not all <clears> of them, <throat> sadly. And one of them is herpes. Yeah. Sex is a lot of work, you know. It is a lot of work. That's it. why you need... So much. That's why you have to talk, because, yeah. you know, you can't be having silent sex. But I agree with you. Exactly. She should, like, you know, give herself baby steps and yeah. study the characters of the people that she's, she's talk- thinking absolutely. about sleeping yeah. with. If you get, like, an mm. immature vibe from a guy, then mm. don't even waste your time. Yeah, because I think that's where it's coming from, because her age, her age group they're the most immature so yeah. imagine talking to like a 22 year old or mm. a 20 year old I mean, like, what's that? right oh, what's that? oh, oh my god mm. you, do you know what I mean like yeah. they'll start like panicking and things like yeah. that they wouldn't understand so 
Oh, I feel bad for her. Don't feel bad for her. She's fine. Not Listen, like she's good. She's good. She's good. She's fine. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. But still, it's like herpes stressful. is so <laughs> common. Like I can't even begin to express. Like so many people have it. So many people are walking around with it, and you would never know, honestly. Yeah. Like it's that common. The only thing that isn't common <clears throat> is just the conversation around right. it. Right. I promise you. Right. But, I do um, think yeah, <clears throat> she just needs to be honest and tran- like transparent. I think. If she focuses on like garnering a genuine connection with someone, it doesn't really matter if she says whatever. Like I feel like the person will still very much absolutely like yeah, really right, interested. Right, yeah. Right. So yeah, as you guys have all said, men don't have these super high maintenance requirements. That <laughs> they not they don't. So it's like they you know, don't. it's not going to be a big it. deal. Do you get know what <laughs> I mean? Don't. So it's really no big deal at all. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I said, the script on how to have these conversations are in my book. So go get it. 